goes up 73 here you're fishing friend mm. sorry about the frog in the throat <coughs> and get a little sip of drink here there we go and I'm going to do another rotation of just if I could find it there we go of the uh, sturgeon here We'll see what the map looks like tomorrow night. I hope this finds y'all safe, healthy, happy, and there we go. Fun fishing and chatting. Ho, ho, ho. Anyhow, I'm going to probably do a couple rotations of this and then I'm going to uh, Emerald and hopefully finish getting a uh, X-Series bullet spoon or spinner my bad if I get lucky now I only need 50 barbless fish Catch with barbarous lures. It's not too bad. Cool. Make sure you go hollow casting spoon. Cool. I like that. I like all X series lures. Especially if I can keep them without losing. Lost my frog. Ah. And T says I can get it by catching roach in Russia. <clears throat> and I fished three hours game time there yesterday and caught 21. That's a long time to catch 250. <laughs> uh, sooner or later, I guess. For shame, for shame. I don't realize it caught 250 before when I had it. Can't believe I let it. I drag too high and it gone. That's all there was to it. And then after I did that, I was practicing for the uh, catfish trial. And I had on the 4th of July star crankbait and did the same thing. Had it one notch too high. Good thing I had four of them. <laughs> that wasn't quite as bad a loss as that uh, walker. Because uh, looking to be replaced in a, that 4th uh, of July DLC. Come on, fish. Give me one more. Give me one more. Just one at a time. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, don't do that to me. You tease me. <laughs> 
I just had me some good old chili for lunch. Crumbled up some crackers in it. And then had a chocolate chip cookie bar. My wife made them yesterday evening. Instead of making cookies, she just makes a flat sheet, cuts it up, cookie bars. A lot easier. I'm doing okay, Warlock. Just trying to do a little farming here. I'm going to do a couple rotations this and I'm going to Emerald. And uh, I need 50 more catches with a barbless lure to get a X series. Wow, I should have got more then. That was a good peak. Hmm. Maybe I wouldn't hold my mouth right. I don't know. Uh, anyhow, I think it's a half ounce uh, X series bullet spinner, if I remember right. But it's been longer than five minutes since I looked at it, so I know I need 50 more. I caught some this morning before I had to go to the dentist, but I know I, I need 50 more. And how are you doing? My ignorance and thoughtlessness. Forgive me, please. Anybody's kind enough to ask me how I'm doing, I should at least reciprocate, shouldn't I? That one come right up through T's leg. <laughs> I took a Louisville slugger to both headlights. Ooh, Lord. Well, I've seen some head. All right. That's a good thing. That is a good thing. That means when you open your eyes. Oh, that was a tease, see. I don't like the teases. When it blinks that often and that regularly, it should be a good strike. But it wasn't. There's one. Three is. There we go. Almost an instant catch, isn't it? I like them 53, 54 pounders. You know, I don't think I've ever caught a 55 pounder here. As many of these I've caught. And I'm not talking about just now. I'm talking about I've been fishing here a long time. Off and on. And I don't think I have ever caught a 55 pounder. I can't. I don't know. Let me see. It's going to be... No, it won't be in this one. Nope, it'll be on this. And This is the Windows version. It'll be in the Steam version. If I did. But I don't remember catching a 55 pounder. It takes 55.009 or something like that. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Matt, the uh, statistician there. <laughs> oh, here? Oh, there it is. I see it now. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just figured it had been on the other one. I didn't remember catching it on this, this windows. Boy, I tell you, they're just not biting. 11-11. They're just not biting right now. I got three. And this will be the second hour. But anyhow, we'll get what we get. We'll do one more after this. Come on, stay with it, too. We'll do one more after this, and we'll go to Emerald and catch some walleye. Yeah. Hey, I still say, even the game, the worst possible day I've ever had is better than any good day at labor. Won't say the four-letter word. <laughs> Well, 
Well, thank you for the raid, Trucking Mad. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it very much. Now, T, I looked online. I will. Yeah, it's 15, isn't it? It's time to. I fish till 15 or 17, something like that. But welcome to my chat, AC. And thank you for the follow. Okay, now I know. My widget's still not working. But thanks again for the follow, AC. Appreciate it. But I was fixing to tell T that I had uh, looked online and it said there was a setting that I needed to change uh, to get my widgets to work in. So I did it, and they're still not working. <laughs> I guess mine just not meant to work. But I do appreciate the follows. I appreciate the raid. All that stuff. Oops. Wrong key. I got too many keys in front of me. I got a question for you. How many keys are on a, on a uh, alphanum alphanumeric keyboard? Well, thank you. Get them out of my way. <laughs> I'm getting all the zero sturgeons. I'll keep them out of your way, okay? Ninety-nine. I just counted them. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the off and on switch. 101. You're right. I forgot the off and on switch and a space bar. Didn't count those. Forgive me. You are correct. Statistician. <laughs> wow. Come on, Sturgeon. I hope the walleye hit better than the Sturgeon are right now. This is not the greatest of peaks, but I'm... Oh, well, I'm not going to complain. It am what it am. Anyhow, what I was saying was I went online to see what I needed to do to get my uh, widgets working. And it told me that uh, somewhere in the advanced settings, all the way down at the bottom, there's uh, a box that needs to be unchecked. So I unchecked it and said restart it. I restart it. And they still don't work. I'm just a... Uh, Unwidget digit, I guess. Or I'm widgetless. <laughs> but it'd be nice if I got some kind of sound or something when when I got followers or like the raid or whatever. Correct. And I've got them all set up where they work when I test them. They just don't work when I, when they're supposed to. There's another tease. Let's go over here with it. Wow. I don't remember having a an hour where I had nothing. Nothing. Nothing, honey. But I set them up exactly like the directions on uh, Slob said to do. And uh, I, did, I did get one. Are you fishing from shore? 
Yes, I am. I'm down on that short peninsula, Milwaukee. When you get in your boat, you go to the far, go left, go to the far end. I'm going to let this run a little longer, see if I can get one more anyhow. But anyhow, I set them up just, oh, by the way, welcome, Milwaukee. Good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I uh, set them up just like it said to do it. I test them. Everything works just fine. I, I don't know. Yeah, I can show you because I'm doing a. See, here we go. Test widgets. See? Every one of them works just like it's supposed to. Until they're until they're supposed to. And then they don't. Sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I don't. Well, I guess that's the one I asked for, wasn't it? <laughs> I said, give me one. That's like that song, give me one step. Give me one step, mister. Good. Oh, that I didn't reel in. Okay. That's why I didn't do it. That's why I didn't do nothing. Is it two? No, it's one. Oh, Lordy. I hope I don't have to take my shoes off to figure out what I'm doing here. <laughs> T, I'm going to cast over there in front of you a little bit if you don't mind. I'll get some of them little ones out of your way. Hmm. It's all done through the alert box, and uh, it's fairly straightforward <laughs> until you want them to work. Oh, well. I'll just keep looking and try to catch, catch the new followers. Lunar Keyboard Head, okay. Thank you very much for your follow. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You make an alert capture that uses the URL of either labs or elements which is correct. But when you set up uh, through Streamlabs, it automatically sets up that URL. Or when I try testing, it wouldn't work. That's my understanding. But, you know, you know how understandingless I am. <laughs> hey, two of my sons have come down here and worked on it, and they couldn't get them working either, so that doesn't make me feel too bad. No, let's see. I think I'm using cat by Am I using cat boxers? T, let me look. I forget. Yeah. No problem, buddy. No problem, buddy. Thank you. Nine, nine foot two inch. Fifty point seven pounds in an Ambusher nine thousand reel, which is forty nine point six. <clears throat> and then a point oh oh nine braid. A seven ounce sinker. A point oh one two titanium liter. Seven odd hook and spawn sacks. Yeah. See, he knows. This is what blows my mind. He doesn't even have to look this stuff up. He knows it. <laughs> I keep showing you my the blackjack I play every once in a while. Whoa. Online blackjack. There you go. There you go. 
Man, I ain't getting nothing. Nothing. Nothing, honey. Wow, this is going to be a, a sad rotation. Maybe the next one will be better. Could be worse. They can all be worse. Thank you. You're welcome. And then a lot of people cast out 25 to 30 feet. Some cast up 16 and 18. I like 20. Yeah. I just, with this three, three position rod stand, I like 20. It's, and that's what T wants. He wants a rod stand that's lower so that the rods stand go out instead of up so he can adjust them. Hey, we've already beat the other one. Way to go. Thank you very much. Uh-oh. I got a runner. Come on. Get back in here. No. 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 Ah. Got a runner. Are you going to be worth me messing with, runner? <laughs> I guess I shouldn't complain it's a fish, huh? If I get it in, I'll get it in. Ain't no doubt about that. Oh, T, here's the thing. On this reel, you know, you said nothing over 500 feet to spool. I got 499 feet on this reel. <laughs> I tried to get one to spool me the other night, and it wouldn't. It wouldn't go beyond 195 or 197 feet. I forget which it was. No matter what I did, and then I reeled it in, and it was a 42 pounder. I thought plenty big enough to run, but it didn't. Okay, so maybe my 499. I guess what I need to do is is go up in uh, St. Croix, St. Croix, depending on how you want to say it, and catch me one of them big... See, that's only a 46-pounder. Oh, we're getting close to leveling. I'm not going to get another one, am I? Ah, we'll leave it out there a couple minutes. Cool. Well, believe me, I, I got spooled at, at St. Saint, Saint Croix. Ah, uh, three. And I had a, it was one of my uh, Brutus rods with a minnow on it. And buddy, it took off. And I thought, well, it's like the rest of them. It's going to turn here in a little bit. <laughs> it never did. It just <laughs> kept on going. I don't I don't think I had over 400 feet of line on. I probably had, I don't know, I used to just put 250, 300 on. Because I figured any fish would go out that far, I could get it back. But I didn't. Now, one of the old timers, one of the PHs we were fishing over off of Sandy, there were like three of them and me and a couple other guys. Uh, we were doing, at that time, you could do what was called the uh, the slam, which is get a uni clear, then a uni regular, then a uni tiger. Or get a grand slam, which was one of those three you doubled up on. That was a grand slam. Well, we'd already got the... Uh, Uni clear and the uni regular was all of us were fishing for the tiger. 
and all of a sudden he hooked off on one summit and it took off to the left and it went out over 300 feet and he said good lord what have i got here and then it went to the right and got out close to 400 he got it back up to 50 or 60 feet and that was it it turned around and took off and it was gone now this is a guy that had been playing this game a long time so he knew what he was doing could not turn that fish he run the bank he tried everything could not get it any closer than i forget whether it was 50 or 60 feet and it finally it uh, took off broke the line didn't spool it broke the line well that was before we had uh, leaders too so that that might have had something to do with it. i guess that's the end of that night wow Well, there's always a better time, a better night. You might catch me, T. You just might do that. Because if I'm going to be up there catching walleye, you be down here catching. Wow. Seven. Eh, it's still almost, what, at 20, 20 what? 23,000? That's not too bad. Not the greatest, but not too bad. Uh, You know, I, if I get the 10 that I should get, I should be up 30-something. I said should. <laughs> didn't say would. Didn't say could. Say should. But that's okay. It's only money. It's only money. I got a little bit bigger net. I got a 551 net. It came with that uh, the winter pack. I forget what the name of it is. That's one reason I bought it to get a bigger net. Oh lordy. Oh lordy. Don't be lying to me. Oh you liar. Oh you dog. You dog. I guess I'm just going to Wait until my rod stand rattles. And then they'll be running. <laughs> I run away. I run, 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 run away. Sometimes. Really the best thing to watch is a spring rod. That'll tell you when a fish on 100% of the time. It'll go up and down and up and down, but when it goes parallel and locks in, it'll do that before the line even moves or before your bobber even moves. It says, you got a fish. Bring me in. I'm ready to get in the house. Take me to the house. Take it to the house. Y'all don't forget. Tomorrow, good Lord willing, I'll be streaming from... Uh, 10 to a little around noon, I guess. But we got a, a giveaway for a Tropic Hunter Pack DLC. <laughs> you, We've already talked, Jambo. I know you've been up. We were in Louisiana. You just want some black-eyed peas, not black-eyed peas, black beans, yellow rice, onions, and blackened fish, right? Or crawdaddies. Well, my youngest son likes to suck the brain, and so does my next, uh, his older, little older brother. They like to suck the, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Thank you. Catch me. Catch me if you can. Do, do, do. Yeah, guys, BB got jealous of all the fish I was catching, and he was catching none, so he ran home to mommy crying. 
I wasn't crying. I just ran home. I only cry at church and close friend, friend funerals. See, even when they're on TV and streamed, I still cry at their close friends. Gotta get a move on. We will yell with all of our might. Catch it if you can. And catch it if you can. Do, 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 do. Catch it if you can. I don't know why I can't sound back out. Catch it if you can. I told a lady this morning at the dentist's office. She was singing along with the radio. And I said, a little bit louder. I can't hear you. And she said, no, you don't want to hear me. I said, well, my Bible says, make it joyful noise. I'm on uh, Windows 10. I'm not on Steam. So I've got two platforms. And this one's... There's just something different. T and R, he started over after I did. <laughs> We're just trying to have fun. Oh, get in here. I was catching all those big fish all the time on the steam. Gets a little boring, a little tiring. So we came here to start working on that Windows 10. <laughs> yeah, but I using it, using it is the thing. Remember, I told you, I didn't play. I played on it to level thirty-four, up at uh, Emerald. But, but then, but then, I didn't play on it for about three months, and I thought, well, I'll try it again. So I went back to to do it again and it had erased all my data and had to start all over again. So I've probably been on here a little over two weeks, I guess. Two and a half, something like that. Maybe three at the most. But I cheated. See, he had he didn't buy any DLCs. I bought the, the Krampus pack so I could go down to Bolivia and I mean Makumaku and catch the, the Krampus Payada which I went from level, was it 20-something T? 18 or 20-something to, to 43. Yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> oh, it is. It is a grind. But that's part of the fun of the game. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's why T's at 42. Boy, but now, see, he cheats. He knows how to catch him fish. <laughs> I watched him in Falcon Lake pull in, I think one day he got 13 unis. That's not cheating. That's just good fishing. But there again, he's a statistician. He knows from one spawn to the next where he needs to be to catch what, which fish, the red band, the uh, uh, rainbow, etc., etc., the cutthroat. That's not me. I just, it's too much to remember. This poor old brain is uh, too many surgeries, too much anesthesia. <laughs> uh oh yeah I use quarter stick every once in a while Dambo. 
Jerry Clarence said that's the best way to fish. So you don't miss many. <laughs> uh oh, that is a fighter. There you go. No. All that changed really was the, the bite rate and the size of the fish and their locations. They haven't moved the sturgeon yet, which is a good thing, because a lot of people come here and farm. And that would perturb a lot of people if they moved them where they couldn't farm. Oh, we're going to have a runner here, because I got... Come on. Come on. Give me. Give me. That one's going to be a runner because it's been on too long. Come on, two. Come on, two. Two, 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 two. Yep. Nope. I got lucky. I got lucky. I got lucky. It's only 04. <sighs> Maybe I can get one more. Well, I tried this was on the steam version with four rods. And we got all four rods going at this short distance. You drive you crazy. Now, when you're fishing over there off Beaver at the 85 foot range, like distance over towards that pylon, that's not so bad because you're going to fight them all anyhow. So you can swap rods and put them back in a rod stand, swap back and forth. And that's when I use my five count one, two, three, four, five, swap. One, two, three, four, five, swap. And I. It got to where I was losing a lot of, a lot of fish. <laughs> you made it mad. You made it mad. But a lot of people complained to the developers. Uh, four, four of us testers for sure complained that we were losing way too many fish to low line tension. I've lost fish with them on the hook, the rod bent like this, like T's was just a minute ago, and then fish gone low line tension. How can a fish low line tension when your rod bent almost over double? So that hasn't been happening near as much lately. Oh, I think I like that. But if you put it down on the rod stand, you will lose some every once in a while. <laughs> okay I'm ready to go to Emerald I made enough money to pay for my trip so I'll leave all the horses to you T and I'll go see if I can catch some I need 50 walleyes on that barbless Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What am I doing? I still got another hour here. Duh. Well, like I said, over there, right, right. If you if you get all four going, seriously, if you count one, two, three, four, five. I can handle five rods on sturgeon here. But if you count one, two, three, four, five, and if you got all four of them going and just use two rod positions like one. If you got one one and four going, pick up one, start reeling in and four hits pick up four and then do a shift one and use that only one position to change rods around. And then if you get two and three going, whichever one goes first, you do the same thing. You use the that rod position. To, uh, 
swap them back and forth. And if you, like I say, if you just count to five and work these two and then work over the other two, five, and work back, uh, I use Barbara's hooks and I, I wasn't, it got to where I wasn't losing many fish. So I know they changed it because I was losing about 25%, which was, that's a lot, you know, when you're, when you're farming to try to get to blue crab, you're losing 25% of your money and XP, mainly XP. That's a lot. It was, it was just too much. But they listened, so they changed it. One of these days, on my new computer, I'll actually learn how to use this. This is the controller for the lights. And I ain't figured it out 100% yet. I can get it going, but I can't really make it do what I want to do. There's a 54. Getting close. Yeah, one more maybe. Boy, that is a fighter, isn't it, T? Is that another one of 28 pounders that thinks it's a monster? There's my one more. Uh oh. Good, oh, I got it. Full net. How about that? Good morning, Greg. After complaining about how lousy it was, I got a full net. <laughs> and it is a whole ooh, nine pounds over. Okay. Now I can go to Emerald with a clear conscience. Catch you later, T. See, 39,000. Well, that's what I don't understand. The the bomber hat on my Steam version, and I sent a message to the to the developers to let them know that the on the Windows 10 version, the this hat is still white. But the Mad Bomber hat that's always been white, after the Christmas event, all of a sudden it looks like fluorescent. I like it. It's a pretty color, but it, it makes it harder to see things in a distance. The light doesn't, doesn't go as far. So, I don't know. Whatever it is is what it is. Not a whole, I can mention it to them, but there's not a whole lot I can do about it. I'll show you in just a second what I'm after here. I went forty four pounds over my keep net size. That's against the law, isn't it? You fought the law and the law won. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Don't forget tomorrow. Uh the giveaway for the Tropic Hunter pack. PC. A PC DLC. Okay. Okay, what I'm going after here. Da, 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 da. Oops, passed it, I think. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. There it is. Correct. Steam, not window. PC. And then Monday, uh, when the Winter Pike Tour starts, I'll have a Pike DLC, the Winter Pike DLC. I don't know. I'd like my white light back. I really would. I like my headlight. I like it white white. Anyhow, I just need 
50 more of these on this barbless lure to get that barbless bullet spinner and it's just it's like anything else it's just a, a challenge an endeavor That's funny. It would not get off the line. <laughs> <laughs> but if you was in Falcon and you had one of those unis on, I guarantee it would have got off. Guarantee. Right, Jumbo? Guarantee. I saw the way you had to fight the unis and 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 real. Uni in Falcon, it would have jumped off at full tension. Yeah. Yes, I have more than once. Exactly. I mean, he was real. His hands, of course. Don't forget. Now he was using a, a, a spinning rod. I mean, spinning reel. So it's not as bad. I mean, uh, casting, but on the spinning, I think it's hilarious that the bail turns backwards. I've even said it to, to the devs. I don't guess they care. And whoever programmed that part evidently had never had one in their hand. Because if you look at, at the, the way it's, it spins, it spins in a direction so that it would let line off your spool. Yes, they do. They did. But the spinning. Let me slow this one down. Turn the light on. Come on, light. It ain't going to turn my light on. <laughs> well, I'll turn it on before I cast, I guess. I don't know why it wouldn't let me turn my light on. Didn't want to, I guess. <laughs> there it is weird this game has a mind of its own I'm serious you can't put glasses on when you have a fish either I I agree Now the glasses it does, but it didn't for the the light. I expected it to since it wouldn't come on, but it didn't tell me. And trying to catch so many in a row, I couldn't get past nine this morning. I got to nine, then I get one of those ghost hits. And even when I move my rod to the right, it still wouldn't hook up. They start all over. <gasps> 47. I only need 47. That's not, no. That's not barbless, is it? I thought it had to be a barbless lure. Because I've looked at that before when I was using a barbless, use a barbless float, and it, it didn't count them. As a matter of fact, this morning, when I was counting them down, trying to get to 100, there's three or four of them that it did not count. And that's, what I, that's the only thing I've used is barbless narrow spoon. No, you have to cast it and reel it back. This is this is what I was talking about, T. We use the jambo. That's how we get the unique peacock and everglades back in the day. Jambo who dad said. All 
also wish they will add the F11 pitch button to spinning and casting rods too. This is the inner road I was talking about, the angling machine. On Steam, where it's, I'm up to, you have to have 30 in a row. After the 20, you have to have 30. 23 is the best I've done here. That's just, that's just a little challenge on myself. But I didn't. But that's okay. They just give me something else to do. Of course, we're going to. It says that I still haven't done it because it says I, I can still do it. So. Que sera. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be, will be. Which one? It's 150. See, now I'm back to zero. Angling machine. Oh, okay. I can't get to 20. And then I couldn't get to 30. And I'm back to zero now because when you get that ghost hit, I'll show you. If you miss that ghost, what I call a ghost hit, Back to zero. I'm going to one by one and rock you later, huh? Do do one by one and Rocky. And I, I I did that one competition one time and I caught thirty two or thirty three. I thought I did pretty good. The person won it cost eighty two or eighty four or something like that. Holy smokes. And the way the time was, that person had to be pulling them out about every three or four seconds. Wow. How did you do in the catfish trail? I, I lost my uh, crank. And I thought, well, maybe it'll let me go get it and come back. But it didn't. And I and I saw you were like ninth at 2,000. I don't know. You were, you were over 2,000 points and in ninth place when I, when I had to leave. And then it won't tell you. But then I come back and practice, and at the same time and the same weather, I caught four trophies, three unis, and three regular. Well, when I practice, I got three. Three unis, four trophies, and three commons. And when I figured, if I figured the points right, I had over 9,000 points, which was... I had to have done something wrong. <laughs> yes, yeah, what I'm saying. I had to have done something. Although I, I figured what I did, I just added the weights, divided by two, and then multiplied it times the uh, value per two, pa two pounds. Yeah. Oh, when I was practicing, I also caught one trophy. No, when I was when I was in the uh, competition, I caught one trophy blue. Alrighty. <laughs> Let the dogs drive themselves, man. Those are Cajun dogs. If they can hunt, they can drive. <laughs> but if they're if you're taking to the groomer, they're not hunters, that's for sure. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, not only that, you have to catch them at 150 something feet out, too. So it takes a lot longer to get them in. But I, over there on the right side of the trees, I never caught nothing at all. Nothing. But I did, I, I know that was a uni that took that crawl from or that crank from me. Because when it hit, right up the top and gone. Just like my walker. And I had it down another click. I needed it down two clicks to protect the, the lure. But I got more. Nothing but a thing. And if I don't have more, I'll use something else, I guess. Okay, where you are? About right there. Come on. Come on, between there and 65. Come on. Come on. Nope. Not this time. Oh, there it is. <gasps> it was closer. Closer, closer, closer. Thank you, thank you. Just a one at a time, just a one at a time, it ain't no joke. They keep me broke, I don't know why they don't come by. Just a one at a time, just a one at a time. I headed straight for my house one evening just at five. Oh wait, that ain't right. That's putting two... together I saw some bill collectors hanging around my house so I slipped in the back door as quietly as a mouse inside of more collectors waiting in the hall my money would go further if only they would call just a one at a time, just a one at a time. It ain't no joke. They keep me broke. I don't know why they don't come by. Just a one at a time. Just a one at a time. I saw the stork a coming one evening just at five. He headed straight for my house. I saw him make his dive. I knew he was mistaken, so I sent him next door. They got a dozen children, but they still ordered more just a one at a time. That's a song from the late 30s, early 40s. My mama had one of the big old 78 records. They used to listen to that on. thought that was cool. She had a pretty extensive record collection. Probably, nowadays, it probably worth some money. But along come 45s, and 78s get thrown away. 33 and a thirds come along. A lot of 45s get thrown away. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I guess the best record I've got in a, in a collection somewhere around the house here. I've got Jerry Lee Lewis's Great Balls of Fire from Sun Records in Memphis. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but I very rarely can work a lure and get three dots. And this one seems to work that way. No, I agree. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Sure didn't sound like a Church of God preacher, did he? <laughs> but he were. Ooh, that ain't gonna work, is it? A little bit too fast. Just a little too fast. Just a little too fast, yeah. But anyhow, what I was saying, this lure, every once in a while, I get three three dots out there besides the stop and go, and there's, 
this is the only lure I think I can do that on. Which I find that interesting too. Okay, where are you, fish? It's gonna take a while to get where I want. I need to be at this rate. Come on now. Come on here. Come on here. Come here to your papa. Is that what I'm using? I'm using a suck a dit sucks <laughs> suck a D I guess the suck a D forty five hundred is what I'm using and the jig winner. This is a thirty six point five recovery. That's probably a little fast. But it was what I had in my inventory. Around thirteen pounds. I don't think I've got well no I don't because I don't have any reels that I can replace it with here in my backpack because I think I had to take them all out in order to put the uh three bottom rods together your backpack is full your backpack is full okie dokie let me look I don't think I do I don't think I do do what I could do what I could do no nothing there do what I could do deal with what I got I guess Well, let's see if we can do it another way. Let's do like I used to do. I'd like a three speed off the bottom. Get them all stirred up. Won't get no three dots with this. Most of the time they hit on the way, way down anyhow. Wake up, fish. Wake up, a little fish is wake up. Do do do. Wake up, a little fish is wake up. The movie wasn't so hot, didn't have much of a plot. <laughs> oh well. That wasn't working either. Maybe they're higher up. We'll try next cast closer to the top. <sighs> Oops, supposed to be over here. This keeps up. I might have to go back down to Louisiana and start catching gar. OT this morning when I was piddling around down Louisiana with Jambo, I did catch a gar on that Star Spangled crank. I thought that was hilarious. Well, they're not in the middle of the water either, are they? There we go. Ah! You get a lot of XP that way, won't you? Do, 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 do. 
do do do. Right in there is where I was catching them earlier today. But near the bottom, that looks like a pike. A grass pike? A chain pickerel? It's too big to be a perch. Up, oh, don't get off. Don't get off. Don't get off. Whatever you are counts. A grass pickerel. Thank you. A grass pickerel. Well, we'll go down to the bottom, do two speed off the bottom to see what happens. Do 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 <sighs> We love you, Norman. Oh, yes, we do. We love you, Norman, and we'll be true. If, if you're not near to us, we're blue, oh Norman, we love you. Do 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 why I have so many rods on my Steam account because I change them up for each lake I go to. Right. Smiley face. Smiley, smiley face. Smiley, smiley. One thing about this lake, what I like, is the $500 extend. Because if I don't, ain't catch any fish, I'll just go the next night. I ain't worried about it. We're going to get about two more casts if something don't start happening here. See, we're just about, we're just about to go to peak. Let's go to 3 and make sure we're in the peak. Do 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 Come on, get down there. There you go. There we go. Up, up just a little. There we go. Do, 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 do. That's one in a row. Don't. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. That's good. I, it's a break in the in the. Oh, there we go. A trophy. All right, thanks. It's a break in the farming. That's that's what it really is. Just a break in the farming. A farming break. I think I threw that in the wrong place. Excuse me. I got to be the yawningest guy that I know. Besides my dog. My dog yawns a lot. Hello, Jeff. <laughs> well, there's another side to it. See, I've got almost 15 million in the Steam account, and what, what I jumped around, hopped around. <laughs> when I jumped around, hopped around, I got down to almost 12, and so I started farming to get it back up there. So it's it's semantics, you know. But either in this game, either or any really video game, really real video game, if you don't like farming, you need to find something else to do. Because I don't know of any video game that you really don't do some form of farming or another. We'll see. Even in this one. 
uh, with catching all those Krampus payata, I got up to a million and a half, and then I started hopping around helping people again and showing things. I got down to just barely over a million, so then I wanted to get it back up. Oh, 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 no, he's right. Well, now here's one thing. Don't the comp say you don't have to keep the fish? Or is it one of those, like the best five, where it's the, best, the biggest five in your net? That's what I was saying. If it's a like a lucky spot, it's the biggest ten in your net, or the uh, float like a butterfly, it's the biggest five in your net. You have to you have to keep five of them, but if they're too big for your net, you up oh, there I go, back to nothing. You can't keep them if your net's too small. That's why I, I get rid of, when I buy a bigger net, I get rid of the littler one because if, if I go back changing stuff and getting rid of stuff and putting stuff on, I might accidentally put the smaller net on and then I'd be in that same situation. So whenever I got a bigger net, I get rid of the smaller one. What was it outside your window, T? Mall dropper. Said. Couple of years ago, I entered a stringer only. Got done and removed the stringer, but forgot to add the net. <laughs> so I lost my chance. Some crap needs to go back and get it LOL. Yep. And it, now, if you do that to Maku Maku Bolivia, man, you done lost some money. You done lost almost 20 grand. <coughs> Yeah, I agree with that. But the idea behind that is you don't have to extend as often either. Let me see what your link is there. Wow, that is some snow. It's some big old flakes. Wow, it's coming our way. Well, you were complaining about everything melting. You don't guess you complain now, will you? <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. Yeah, there's some big old flakes. <laughs> oh. See, now around here, that, that'd that be hazardous because our infrastructure, the telephone lines, the power lines, they there's too many trees around here to fall across the lines. Freezing, freezing fog. That's what we had here the last two nights. And I went out last night to put the garbage cans out. No, this morning, I mean, I'm sorry. It was early this morning when I put the dog out. I let her, I put Hercules out, let him run around the backyard and I go put the garbage cans out. The first one, I just put my hand on it, wheeled it out there. Oh, Lord, it was cold. The next one, I got, had two cardboard boxes to throw away. 
and I tore a chunk of cardboard off of it to use it as a as a kind of glove to roll the big can out because it, man, that that frozen fog on there was, man, it was cold. It were cold, and it only got to 27 here last night. Uh oh, he's fixed to come and tell me about it. What is it? What is it, buddy? What is it? What is it? <laughs> uh, yeah, what's up, buddy? <laughs> There's a cat out there or a dog walking down the street or somebody jogging or something like that, but he, he lets me know. The guy next door to me, when he's outside barking like that, he hollers. He's a young guy. He's in his early 30s, early to middle 30s. Named Cody. And he hollers at him and says, Shut up! <laughs> Possible. But Cody will holler at him, Shut up! I said, Cody, hold on a minute. He's doing his job. Do you not understand that if the world goes to you know what in a hand basket, this dog could save our life because there's nothing moves in this neighborhood. I mean, on the road behind me, the road on across and the other side, nothing moves within three blocks of this house that he doesn't know about it. That's his job, and he's real good at it. I don't think anybody could sneak up on us. I really don't. And I like it. Exactly right. Boy, I tell you, I think I told you the other night my wife put something in the garbage can. Hello, Hammer. You're not late. You're never late. That's like I tell people at church. People say, well, I'm sorry I'm late. I say, look, when you drive in and there's one or two cars in the parking lot, you're not late. The only time you're late is when you drive to church and come in the parking lot and nobody... No other cars there. Then you're probably late. <laughs> but you're never late to church as long as the doors are open. But anyhow, my wife put something in a garbage can. And I don't know whether it's styrofoam. There, I'm back to zero again. I don't know if it's styrofoam or what, but it kind of squealed. Like she'd make a, eh! an eek sound. He was sound asleep. Man, he jumped up. Them ears went back. That tail tightened up. He was ready to fight because he was going to protect his little girl. And I would have felt sorry for anybody to come through the door. He, it, it just wasn't going to happen. But it sounded just like her eeking. Woke him up. Boy, he was upset. He looked at me. <laughs> and laid back down with back sleep. <laughs> but he made sure everything was all right first. And I'm sure your big dog was the same way. I can't imagine a 240 pound Great Pyrenees. Good Lord. When we had Horace, he only attacked one person. And because he felt threatened. Well, Hercules has, has never offered to bite anybody. Now, he barked at them. They come up in the truck to pet him. And if they had cats or if they, he doesn't like anybody that does drugs. Boy, I mean, he's he'll go off on him, but he in the truck he backs up and hunkers down like he's ready to lunge and just bark. But he's never gone after anybody. Hammer two underscore four underscore six. Said, love big dogs. We have four great names. Wow, you really do. Boy, there's a there's a Harlequin Great Dane lives three houses uh, north of us. The garbage man had a battle with the metal cap. Oh. Swung it at Horace because he was barking at him. So Horace attacked. Yeah. You know what they say. Let a sleeping dog lie. But there's a Harlequin Great Dane lives three houses north of us that uh, 
him. Said. They sent animal control to pick him up, but when they saw the bandit, they pressed charges against the guy for animal abuse. There you go. This, that's like the guy in the, in the FedEx truck. Now, he hates the FedEx, the mail truck, and the uh, UPS truck. Man, it's Katie bar the door when they come down the street if he's outside. But he was outside one day on his cable in the front yard, and the FedEx guy drove up to deliver a package. And he got out of the truck, and Hercules just, ar, 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 and he said, can I pet him? I said, yeah, he's not barking at you. He's barking at the truck. Walk up to him, hold your hand out like this, and let him smell. So he did, and Herc was at the far end of his cable, so he couldn't get him, couldn't get him if he wanted to. And the guy held his hand out like that for him to smell. And uh, Hercules' tail started going around. When he's really happy, his tail didn't go back and forth. It goes around in circles. And his tail was going around in circles. The guy stood there for about 10 minutes just loving on him. Hercules just ate it up. But what was funny, the guy went and crawled back in his truck and started up. Hercules started going, ar -ar -ar -ar, again, as he drove off. <laughs> There's a UPS lady. She's a good-looking young lady. I mean, she she don't care for him at all. She was kind of, she pulled in her driveway. And it's kind of unusual. Most they don't, they don't pull in the driveway unless they're going to turn around. But she pulled in the driveway to deliver a package and he was barking inside and I knew it was probably a UPS delivery so I opened the door and here's the front porch and here's the corner of the house it's about four feet out from the door and I looked and she looked around that corner of the house like this to see if he was on the porch <laughs> and she laid the package down and cut a trail <laughs> uh. But that was so funny to see her look around the corner to see whether or not he was on the porch. That was funny. But I've got signs on the side of my truck. Magnetic signs. They're about this tall, about this wide. It says, beware of dog. Do not touch. He is not social. That's to cover my anatomy. So if somebody reaches up there to pet him, and he goes and he goes off on them, and they have a heart attack. I'm covered. Yeah. Well, it's like that. I was telling about the uh, Great Dane lives up the street. His name is Zeus. And when he was a puppy, they were both puppies. But Zeus was still, at that time, bigger than Hercules. And oh no! I thought I let the time run. What in the world? Did you see that? <laughs> but I was I was walking. Did you see it get daylight then and then go back to dark again? That was funny. Uh, I was walking Hercules up the street, and Zeus. Every once in a while, the, it's a police officer got three young kids, and they'll let leave the gate open for the backyard, and Zeus come be bopping out, and he come running over towards Hercules, and I, I think he was just going to play, but he barked. Then Hercules started barking and growling. And then I was going around, he was on a leash, and I was going around in circles with him on the leash, trying to keep him apart. I was afraid one of them going to hurt each other. Now I'm afraid if they... Okay. Well, I feel sorry for this Drake Dane, because he's, he's outside probably 90% plus of the time, and I know they're not outside dogs. They don't have enough fur to be outside dogs. And when we, we first time, we took Hercules to get him groomed and you know get his hair cut. His fur was as long, man. It was everywhere in the house. I made a rake out of a horse tail comb and uh, attached it to an old broom handle so we could rake the carpet in the living room. And we get handfuls of his fur. 
So I know he lost a good 10, 15 pounds because they cut him short. I said, I want him short. But it, it, they went too short. They went almost peeled him to the skin. And I, they have white, they look like a Dalmatian when their hair is really, really short. And I just, I didn't appreciate that. They went too short. So I didn't take him to that groomer anymore. I took him to a guy over at Petco, black guy, big old black guy. He'd been, he been grooming for almost 10 years. He knows what he's doing. Exactly. Boy, that is a name. Can we call you VC or Vecchi? How's that? But welcome. Thank you for the thank you for the follow. Well, I've got some other follows. Boy, I'm, I'm getting behind. Please forgive me, y'all. I don't look over there often as I should. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Del Vecchio. Is that Italian? I have border collies now. Charlie Brown and Linus. No Lucy? Well, border collies are smart. They are real smart. Cody's and his next one has a border collie. His, his name is Maverick. Okay, that fits. That fits. It just sounds Italian. But thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And we've been talking off and on about my widgets not working. So I apologize for that. But I do try to look over here as often as I think to or can remember to to uh, let people know that I do appreciate the follows. And tomorrow, everybody, remember tomorrow. Uh, I'll stream between 10 and 12. Good Lord willing, creeks don't rise. And I'll be having a giveaway probably sometime around 1130 for a uh, Tropic Hunter Pack DLC. It's about $35 DLC. And if you look under Premium and look up the DLC Tropic Hunter, it's a, it's a good DLC. It really is. It's got a boat in it. The boat that I like, I like it better than the bass boat. The depth finder works even at full speed going across the water. So that's pretty cool. You can still see the fish, you can still see the topo underneath the water. But it's got some good lures. It's got one uh, La, La Casa Dora rod. I'm trying to decide that I, I know Hercules ain't going to last forever. Whoa! Talk about dark! Who turned out the lights? Who? 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 He's six. Figure he's going to live another, live another four or five years. But I think when he does die, I'm trying to. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. But one of the smartest dogs that I ever owned was a friend of mine, a real buddy for sure. Was a Weimarner, the Gray Ghost. The uh, people that owned her, her name was Dawn. Her name was about this long. On the registration, she was full blooded, and the people that owned her, the kids in the neighborhood, were real mean. I can't see the fish, and 
they asked my dad if, if he wanted a dog. He said, yeah. So brought her home. I just need 30 more. Uh, he brought her home and she became my buddy. I didn't do any better, did I? That's supposed to be a bright, clear night here too. Wow. I need to put me some kind of marker or something out there where I can see them. I do that during the day. Yeah. It's going to cost me a coin too. Let's see. Right in that way, that way. Something I can aim by. Oh, it's going to tell me I ain't got no more markers. Nope, there we go. Give me another one. And give me something to aim by now. Anyhow, she was she was smart. So I can aim between those two. <laughs> My Uncle Ronald drove a uh, truck delivering fuel for fleet gasoline diesel here in town and when I moved down here from Indiana when they when my uh, stepdad died and I wasn't going to live with my stepmother I'd have probably wound up in prison but anyhow uh, I slept on the back porch it was in close porch I had a bed out there that's, that's all I needed some place to hang my clothes and Dawn slept with me on the end of my bed well, Ronald came in one morning about, he'd gone and only made one delivery and came in at about three o'clock in the morning, walked up the back steps, opened the door and walked in. <laughs> and he said it scared him to death. Don put a paw, one on each of his shoulders, put her nose right against his nose and went woof, woof. And said he stood there what seemed like hours saying, Bob, 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 but <laughs> until I woke up and went over and got a hold of her collar and got her down. Now he, she knew who he was, but he was there at the wrong time and she wasn't going to go for it. But he, he never forgot that. He said, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> what a dog. When everybody used to look at World Book, Encyclopedias, Encyclopedia Britannica, and the likes, if you looked up the dog breed Weimarner in the um, Encyclopedia Britannica, the picture of the dog that was in there was her grandfather. That's the kind of lineage that she came from. Well, she was smart. It took me less than 10 minutes to teach her to sit on command. And then about another 10 to 15 minutes to teach her to sit and stay. And I was messing with her one day in the backyard when I was, I don't know, about maybe 14 years old. And uh, I told her sit and stay. And then I'd walk out the gate and look around the corner of the house to make sure she, she'd mind. And I told her sit and stay and walked out of the house, walked out of the gate. And my brother came around the front of the house and said, uh, so and so wants you on the phone. I said, okay. So I went in the house. And I was on the phone for, you know, 20, 25 minutes. So I hung up, went back out, went out the back door, and she was still sitting exactly where I told her to sit and stay. Unbelievable. And I could stand, she had a big old dog house. And I could stand on that dog house and hold a, I don't know, a piece of hot dog or anything. Just as, and I'm tall. I was 6'3 when I was 14 years old. And I could stand on that doghouse and hold a piece of meat or anything up in the air as high as I could reach and stand there and close my eyes and tell her to get it. And she could run and jump and take that out from between my fingers and I never knew it was gone. Gentle mouth. Smart dog. Hercules just like a... 
I tell everybody he's like a woman. He's extremely smart. He does exactly what you want him to when he wants to. <laughs> and then my wife gives me a dirty look when I say that. <laughs> uh, but I, No. No. I got a towel over here. I got a, two towels laying in the laundry room. I got two towels out by the back door. I got one over a, a gate. We put a child's gate upstairs, going upstairs so our youngin wouldn't fall down the stairs. I got a towel over that gate. I got a towel over the chair uh, at the table there in the living room that I keep a computer on. And we got a towel hanging over a child gate going in the kitchen. Yeah, he slobbers. <laughs> and the worst part about it is when he goes like this. And it just goes... <laughs> and my wife says, oh. <laughs> oh. But I still love him just the same. He's a joy. He really is. And if anybody ever asked me, I could not recommend a better companion dog. He likes to play with me sometimes, and he likes to play rough. But only me does he play rough with. He won't play rough with my son. He won't play rough with my wife. But he likes to play rough with me. And that's okay, because I, well, I play rough back with him. All right. A trophy. If I knew how to take pictures, I'd take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> It's not F12 on this Windows thing. I don't know how to take a picture on this. Wouldn't know what to do with them if I took them anyhow. Do a screen print, I guess. But he he's a he likes to ride my truck. Fifty mile an hour. That's it. Anything over fifty mile an hour, he won't stick his head out the window. I don't care what the temperature is. 50 mile an hour. He'll stick his head out the window. But that the whole side of my truck, down the bed of the truck, it's got slobber on it. Every once in a while I have to clean the door because it looks so bad. Yep. Yep. And his, his paw is almost as big as my hand. Good Lord. Big feet. But he's my buddy. Boy, he likes these peppermint candies, too. And he likes root beer. And he's the only dog I have ever seen that likes asparagus. Man, that's almost un-American for a dog to like asparagus. I don't like asparagus. Peas and green beans is about all the greens I want. Now, we haven't tried cucumbers. <laughs> he likes uh, French onion dip. <laughs> oh, that looks like a yellow perch. Oh, don't get off. Don't get off. You count. Don't get off, perch. Don't get off. Don't get off. That was a perch. No. A bigger red fin? Cool. Pike Master. All right. Arr, 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 arr. Oh, I got me some Franken bait. Awesome. 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 Awesome sauce. Well, we know where the Pike Monster is. I forgot I can still do all that again. All right. Not with these rigs I've got, though. I mean, not what I've got with me. Said, why not? 
all I've got is bottom. I don't have a float with me. I've got three bottom rods and this cast casting lure rod. I don't have a float with me. I could use my Brutus or I've got a Majestic. I could use that. But I don't have it with me. It's at home. Remember I've only got four rod 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 case. But you got to remember, you are the expert. And I think I explained what expert was. <laughs> An X. Wow, there we go. What in the world? It hit it on top of the water? Wow, cool. Thank you. X is a has been, and a spurt is a drip under pressure. So I'm an ex I'm an expert. I'm a has been drip under pressure. All you viewers, tomorrow uh gonna have a giveaway. I I stream between ten and twelve and uh I'm gonna have a, a Tropic Hunter DLC which is a pretty good deal. So you got a boat in it and it's got a La Casadora rod and reel set up in it. That's just totally awesome. It's got a seven day premium. It's got a pond pass for Bolivia. You go down there and catch one of them big red tails, catfish or one of the gilded. Pretty good DLC. Pretty good DLC. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Colton. For PC, yes. It's for Steam. For, for Steam. For Correct. Whoa! Scared myself there. <laughs> Correct. It'll probably be around around eleven thirty. You don't have to be present to win. Uh, when you come in, you can ask in chat what the I I do a, a secret word. So you just put exclamation point and the word, and it's 99.9% .9 of the time all in lowercase. Or you can ask, or we'll tell you. Just put exclamation point, and what are, let's say the word is safety. Just put exclamation point, safety, and you're in the drawing. And then the Nightbot does it. I don't do it. I let Nightbot do it. That way there's, there's no, well, you know, one of your favorites won or anything like that. I, I don't have any control over who wins. Nightbot does it, but as long as you put it, put your uh, put the word in, you're in the drawing, and uh, that's it. Like I say, it's for PC. If you play on Xbox or Win Ten, if you win it, you still win it. You can give it to somebody that plays on PC, or if you've already, uh, people have given me stuff. DLCs and I go to put it in and it says that you've already got most of this material already in your in your game then I just find somebody else to give it to but I ask them first but if you win it it's yours you can do whatever you want to with it if you want to give it to somebody like the other day Z Zombra Zandra won and she already had the DLC so uh, T asked her if he could give it to somebody as a birthday present and she said sure so T contacted me and I whispered Z she said it was okay so I gave him the DLC the code and he gave it to a young person for their birth for a birthday present for them to use so everybody that was a winner for everybody T such a nice guy such a nice guy. <laughs> uh. 
Smiley face, smiley face. Hey, you work construction, you can't be too nice. People walk on you. You know, you said you did uh, metal stud and, and sheetrock. One of my older sons, that's what he does. He's, he's a sheetrocker. He works for a construction company. I, I'm pretty sure I did. Steel studs, drywall, yeah. Specialty ceilings. I'm sure I did, Warlock. I did. I do what you people tell me to do when it comes to the drawings. If you want it, you get it. If you want me to give it somebody, I give it somebody. Yes, he did, Warlock. He okay. Did yeah, I did. They got gone. That was a. That was. Because they needed to get gone because there was only two days. Two of them were Krampus packs. And there was only two days left in that event. So they needed to get gone. Or they wouldn't have been worth it. I mean, they wouldn't have been worth as much. Because when when you had the Krampus pack, you could go down to uh, Maku Maku and catch the uh, Krampus Payara. You got a hundred candy canes, and you catch a hundred of them, and you'd have over over one and a half million dollars in cash and over seven hundred fifty thousand XP. In this game, see, I can't give them to me. I bought it, and I went down there. I went from level twenty one or twenty two up to forty six, just by catching the uh, Krampus Payara. A lot of XP, a lot of money. Gave me enough money that I could go around helping people. And that's that's what I like. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay. I understand. I've been on here. I'll probably be on here about another 15 minutes or so. And then I'll join you on your stream. And try not to irritate you too much. Smiley face, smiley face. And what I will do, if you'll let me know when you are live, T, we will raid you if y'all don't mind. That young man is extremely knowledgeable in this game. You can't irritate me, LOL. <laughs> oh, I probably, I probably could. But not that I'd want to. <laughs> but let me know when you when you do go live come back in let me know and we'll raid you and then I'll just stay in there if that's okay and anybody that wants to stay is more welcome to and if you don't want to you don't have to but if you do uh, give him a follow he is I'm telling you He's very, very knowledgeable in the game. You can ask him questions, and it's like he memorizes the answers. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And that's, that's a two-way street, buddy. You're always welcome the same. But if you have any questions, believe me, if he doesn't know the answer, or if I don't know the answer, there will be somebody in that stream that knows it, or... We can head you in a direction where you can find the answer. Or we'll find it and then come back and let you know. That's the good thing about these these better streams. We're not out to belch and holler and scream and cuss and, you know, raise cane. We just want to have fun. We like we really enjoy helping people. We really do. And we enjoy fishing. Except for what Twitch puts on the ads at the beginning, which we we can't control. There's no ads on my on my Twitch. There's no ads on my YouTube page either. I got over 200 videos on YouTube. Yes, for sure. Like I said, I got over 200 videos on YouTube. No ads. I I don't. I just I I won't have it. I'm not on here to make money. I'm on here to have fun. 
And now I've got some subscribers, don't get me wrong. And I appreciate that. But it, but it's that's not what I'm here for. But I really, really enjoy helping people. And my YouTube channel, little self-promotion here, is the same as my channel here on Twitch. It's DoubleTalk73. And of the 200-something videos I got on there, I think about five or six of them are still pertinent. <laughs> oh, Lord. I think they've gone deep. Nope, there we go. Oh, that's a little bit better. That might be a trophy. Maybe. Maybe. That rod's quivering. I know it's over three pounds. A shake, rattle, and roll. Shake, rattle, and roll. Just barely over three pounds. Wasn't it? I said over three pounds. <laughs> But I appreciate all y'all. I really do. I, I try to mention in all of my streams that one of the most valuable things that you have is your time. Because once you spend it, it's a commodity. And once you spend it, it's gone. You can't replace it. The richest man in the world cannot buy one more second of time. It's it. When it's gone, it's gone. So I appreciate you very much. But come join me tomorrow. Like I say, once you get in the drawing, the giveaway. I keep it on the drawing. Once you get in the giveaway, you're there. And you don't have to say, if you do win, I'll whisper you and get the code to you. And it is for that Tropic Hunter Pack DLC. And I like the boat in it. I really do. I like it better than the bass boat. It'll only go like 26 mile an hour, but that's plenty fast enough. There's nothing. We're not, we don't really have leave the dock bass tournaments here like they have, you know, the pro bass. They need them 300 horsepower motors so they can get from point A to point B in a hurry because it can cost them money if they're there, you know, a minute or two late because somebody else can get to spot where they were going to fish and then they're out. They got to go somewhere else. Then it costs them money. We got nothing like that here. Although it would be cool to have something like that where you could you know, start from the dock. But the way they do it, most of the tournaments is you can start, you got a two hour window to fish 45 minutes or an hour. So you can start any time. If you had to start at the time when the tournament started, boats were allowed and you had to catch pike in St. Croix. Well, there's really only one place you're going to go and catch pikes. So you got to go all the way to the side of the lake. But everybody leave that dock at the same time and go catch pike. That'd be cool. Then you would want something faster than 26 mile an hour. <laughs> uh, another pickerel. I wonder how, how, how close am I getting? How close am I getting? Only 15 more. <laughs> We're getting there. I may have to try to figure out how to do that. That would be pretty cool. A custom competition like, like Bass Masters. That, that would be, that would be cool. <gasps> if I get it in there, 14. But I hope this finds y'all well, safe, healthy, and happy. Wow, that fish got smaller. No, it didn't. It ran at me. Stay on there. All right, don't do that. Don't do that. Stay on there. Thank you. Another, another personal best. Cool. Whoa. Wow, I got some decent money and three coins. I'll take that. Trophy ain't, you can't even sell those trophies. 
But you, you the money and the coins I like, yeah. If they haven't changed it, or if they don't change it this year, if we're still catching uh, rowdy bass and leprechaun fish, I'll try to teach everybody a little thing that we figured out last year with about four or five days to go in, the, in that event that really made a significant difference in the way we could play the game. And I'll, I'll put a video out on it. I'll stream it, but I'll also record it. And uh, it's something that if you can fish at Blue Crab, it will make a significant difference in how you can approach the game. It'll put a feather in your bonnet. How about that? Oh, that is a big old fat perch, isn't it? Holy smokes, that'd be good eating. Fillet that, dude. Yeah. Fillet it, blacken it out on the grill. I don't even have a grill anymore. What am I talking about? My wife is a cancer survivor, and a lot of things that we used to do, we don't do anymore. We don't grill. As I said, that some of the the gases given off and some of the burnt on the the grills itself can be carcinogens so we just we don't even want to go through any of that again believe me that's something no if you've ever been around anybody went through that you know exactly what I'm talking about so we don't grill got an air fryer though ooh love that air fryer we get popcorn chicken and cook it in the air fryer. It is so crispy, crunchy on the outside and tender and juicy on the inside. It's almost sinful. And I like to dip it in Arby's sauce. <laughs> uh, not Arby's sauce, I'm sorry. The uh, Polynesian, Arby's Polynesian sauce. That's what I like. Good, good, good. We have a George Foreman. We really do. Oh, that one's piling it up on the water on top. We have a George Foreman, too. We use it for a long time, too. My wife on Sundays, we have a Sunday meal. We take one-inch thick pork chops, big old boneless pork chops, and cut it up and put it in the air. Well, she marinates it first and puts it in the air fryer. Oh, oh it is so, so good. Same thing. The flavor of the marinade just permeates the meat. And in the air fryer, cooks it really good and done on the outside and juicy on the inside. Oh, it's so good. I like steaks on the George Foreman. I really do. We haven't air fried any steak yet. And then for Christmas, uh, I bought her a six quart. And then my brother and sister-in-law bought her eight quart instant pot. So we sent the six quart back. And it's got an air fryer an instant pot combination. Haven't tried it yet. She still likes just the air fryer. <laughs> Whoa. Big fish. Big fish. Fish on for sure. Fish on for sure. Come on. Wow. All right. My oldest son, uh, he went to school to be a saucier chef. And he used the Instant Pot and did all kinds of stuff with it. He told my wife, said, if you if you want, I can give you some recipes that you won't believe and make your mouth water. <laughs> but she hadn't tried to use it yet. Not yet. She will. She would. Look at all the three dots. No other lure can I work that I get three dots on. 
amazing for little old one quarter ounce narrow spoon well I blew it again didn't I whoa what happened there there we go thank you fly for your follow I appreciate it thank you thank you thank you I hope y'all can join me tomorrow for the giveaway the most I've ever had in a giveaway is 10 so that's a 10% chance uh, a couple weeks ago on one of uh, T's streams we had a an Xbox I don't remember if it was a Christmas magic pack or, or Krampus pack anyhow or no it was either the Christmas uh, magic pack or Santa kayak pack and one person got in drawing one that's it well they won and I wanted them gone so I gave them both <laughs> one because they won it and the other because they they entered snublower what in the world is that oh snowblower <laughs> snowblower it said snub blower is what it said to my chat snub blower that's funny oh lord what I may do T you'll have to tell me if I can do this I'm getting close to finishing this endeavor here can I raid you and still keep on fishing will it let me do that Because obviously you're back now, so you must be getting ready to stream. What do you mean? Can I can I raid you on your stream and me still keep fishing on mine? Can I do that? Is that permitted? Never tried it because usually when I'm getting ready to go is when I when I raid <laughs> or I raid after I've gone. I, I did that once too. That's, Well, we'll just have to give it a try and see what happens. I only need 11 more. Are you streaming now, T? Are you crank are you geared up? And the snowman rod holder? I didn't know there was one. <laughs> but are you streaming right now? Okay. Well, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll have this endeavor done. I don't know if I can, I think this means I need, I think this will be number 140. If I get it in. Oh, here's something interesting. When I was checking, I hooked one and it got off. Just as I was re raising out of the water, it flopped off and it still counted it. <laughs> the game cheated itself. Yeah, that's number 140. I just need 10. This has been a grind. A fun a fun one. Snowman rod holder was the reward for the snowball challenge during the Christmas event. Okay. Okay. I had my game lock up from losing a fish during the animation. I I remember you talking about that. I never did I never did get that done Jambo uh, I had plenty of snow but I didn't move around enough to find 25 people to shoot by the time I figured out how to do it the thing was about over and most of the lakes you go there's now there's only five people 
on the lake. A way to send me a picture. Let's see. Probably the only way you can send me a picture is on Discord. And when I get done here, I will uh, whisper you my Discord location. There you go. See, I know the guy. He's just too smart. <laughs> I don't guess you can ever be too smart, can you? Of course, I thought I was too smart for my pants. Or too smart for my britches, I guess. My last name is Hardy. And I used to get, believe me, I had Coca-Cola bottle bottom glasses. And the kids, kids are cruel. Pure and simple. Kids are cruel. And I, I call bug-eyed, bug-eyed, four-eyed, cross-eyed. You're a hardy boy. Yep, I'm a hardy boy. Yeah. I've read all the books. <laughs> But they used to say, hardy, hardy, har, hardy, har, har, hardy, har, har. Okay. Just whisper it to me. See, you're the only one I know that even got it. That's pretty cool. Congratulations. Now, did you throw the snowballs by hand or did you shoot them with a slingshot? Last year, I don't know how many times, I'm talking about a lot of times, I tried to throw it by hand. Yeah, because you can only do a person one time with it, right? You couldn't shoot the same guy 25 times. It wouldn't let you do that. And you knew when you had shot somebody different because they go, pew! Snowball would bust up like that. That was pretty cool. That didn't cost me a coin. Good, good, good. Oh, I followed your advice, T. I just went in and the reason I've got the camera on this screen capture version, the Windows 10, and I just did what you said. I went in and, and told it to use it. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. A lot of things are. <sighs> that happens when you get over 30 <laughs> or 40 or 50, 60 or 70. What in the world is this? Oh, that I didn't know. What in the world? Okay. Thank you, T.
Almost three o'clock. My dad was 32 years in the Navy and I did Navy and I never never did learn the bells how to tell time, you know, four bells and all's well, six bells and all's well. I guess so. I wonder which word was was being held the uh Correct. Back to back, server, reset, hit. <laughs> yeah. I saw a couple things that were highlighted, but that was one of them. But thank you for putting it on through T. Ah, uh, we should be getting close. Faith and big order. Faith and big order. Ah, a bigger perch. Man, look at the slab. Man, look at the slabs. See, I like perch. There are not too many fish that I'll eat. But I remember eating perch when I was a kid. We'd catch them and eat them. Yeah. My stepdad, my mom, me and my brother, we go down on a, there was a creek up in Indiana, Tippecanoe Creek, and we go catch uh, grass pike, at least that's what they call them, and there's little perch like that, and we cook them there on the river bank and eat them. Oh yeah, good times, good memories. Good times, good memories. You know, things like that. It's like I tell people. Take a child fishing when the weather's right. You don't you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can buy cane poles about any Walmart, Kmart, or bait store and get some worms. They come with a little old, uh, slim float and a little tiny hook. Go find a place little fishing pier or boat dock or something they'll let you fish off of. Take a kid fishing. They'll never forget the first fish. I prefer catfish, crappie, rock bass, sunfish. My father-in-law used to see brim. They'd scale it, gut it. He didn't cut the head off of it. He fried up and eat it. <laughs> Eat around the fins. I never did figure that part out. But anyhow, take a kid fishing. The gleam in their eye and the joy that they, they have when they catch that first fish. It on, if it's this big, the first fish is something they will never, never forget. And that smile on their face and the gleam in their eye is something you'll never forget too. Take a kid fishing. Excuse me. Take a child fishing. Boy or girl, they'll enjoy it, and so will you. <laughs> and if if they're under twelve, they don't need a license in most states, so that's even better. But if you don't have a license, you better not be caught with a pole in your hand if the game warden comes cruising around. <laughs> that can cost you. That can cost you. Really? In Indiana? Because I spent probably from my Let's see, third grade until I was a junior in high school in small towns all around Plymouth, Indiana. 
which is where uh, 30 and 31 intersect. Argus, Rochester, Bremen, La Paz, Lake of the Woods. Oh, that's not what I want. Me three. That's cool. That's cool. That is really cool. And my mom and dad hauled house trailers out of Bremen, Indiana. And then for Ritzcraft, out of uh, Argus. We live by in a trailer right by the railroad tracks. On the right side of the railroad tracks. <laughs> and uh, you got to where when the train had come through at night, it, 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 the trailer would shake. And you get used to it, it doesn't even matter. I don't remember if we had a TV, to tell you the truth. I don't play that side a lot. But you go to sleep. It only had one bedroom. It had a front kitchen. My, my, awesome. <gasps> now we should only need two. We're getting there. We're getting there. I appreciate y'all hanging around with me while we're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost successful. I think I need two. I think I need two. Now, last time I did that, I needed three. Let me take, make sure. Yes, two. Tippy Canoe. Yeah, Tippy Canoe and Tyler, too. And Culver. I must I must remember Culver. There by Lake Max and Cucky. We lived there uh, my freshman and sophomore year. And then during our sophomore year we moved from Culver to, to Plymouth. When my dad got out of the service we lived in Plymouth, I was too young to remember that. Really? That's cool. We lived on Michigan Avenue. Of course Michigan Avenue runs from Southern Indiana all the way up through South Bend, Michigan Avenue, Highway 31. I remember carrying five gallon cans of kerosene so we could stoke up the furnace at night. It was cold and I had to walk clear across town to a place that sold kerosene, carry a five gallon can, carry it back. Man, it was heavy. I mean, it hurt my fingers, hurt my hand. But that was one of my jobs, what I had to do. That's where my brother and buddy of his were playing with gasoline and Bernie's hand. I mean, burn it bad. And he slept. Mom and Dad were gone. And he slept with his, it was his left hand. He slept with his hand in a, in a pan of ice water <laughs> to try to keep it from hurting so bad. Didn't dare go to the doctor. Because we, he had gotten beat for doing it, and I got beat for letting him do it. <laughs> like my mama said she told a principal and told a teacher once don't ever slap him again what he sits on is already cracked you can't break it that's what it's there for Whew. and I've told people that spankings help you grow and I figure if I hadn't got the spankings I got instead of 6'2", 300 plus pounds I'd have probably been five. it's just the one we're looking for Five one, 110 pounds. Is that it? On a northern pike. Is that it? Come on. There it is. All right. Success. Ah, X Series Barber Spinner, half ounce. All right. I love and three coins. I love it. I love it. When an endeavor comes together. Well, let's look and see what T's doing. Do 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 Well, I'm gonna head back to where I was. That's a pretty, pretty decent net too. Eight grand. Hmm. 
now that I'm done with that, maybe I ought to put a, a uh, float rig on here and see if I can catch the frankenfish, the pike slasher. Let's see. I got a... Heard that. That's what I got, essentially what I got now. Thought I had a float rig here. That's casting. That ain't it. Interesting, interesting. Well, I guess I'll have to build one. Let's go here and go home. Get rid of this one. Let's see what I got here. There's my majesty. Oops, needs repair too. Chocolate bar. I use my majesty. And I think that 55, if I remember right, is a liter length. 57 pounds. For the pike slasher. <laughs> 30? Okay. I'll go with what you say. I'll use this thunder spin. That's a bit... Your back. How can your backpack be full? There's nothing in it. Oh, yeah, there is. Now let's try it. Here we go. 35 pounds. 35 pounds. I don't need to line that heavy. Forty-six. That's way too heavy. Thirty-three. Here we go. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's see. I might leave that on there, just in case I decide to use that in blue crab. <sighs> Hook. Cook, 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 cook. Four odd. And bait. Okay. There it is. Okay. You mean I'm back? Backpack? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now this one I got to wait till midnight, isn't it? If I'm, it's been a while since I caught this thing. Two years. Okay, I was thinking at midnight. Now, the last time I tried to catch this thing, I uh, stood over on a bank and cast out there at the end of the lily pads and waited and waited and waited. And then it went ding, 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 ding. Coordinates, okay. That's not what came across on the chat reading, but I know I, I got you. Hi, <laughs> lordy, lordy, lordy. Let's get in my huge boat here. Yeah. Me and my little green rented rowboat. Green. Little grin, flat bottom boat. 
A little green flat bottom boat, but at least it'll go when I push the arrow up. At least it'll go when I push the arrow up. Doom. That ought to be close enough to really scare everything away. So now let's have a look at the time. That's sunny. Cloudy. You say cloudy or partly cloudy? I don't think we get a partly cloudy here, do we? That's, that says partly cloudy right there. Day to night, partly cloudy. Night one. Okay. Oh, I want to put my anchor up. I want it to pull me around if it can. <laughs> Oop. Rod in. Sorry. I ain't been doing this. I ain't been playing this very long. But I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Watching lights in my computer. One of these days I'll learn how to control them. <laughs> I just turn them on. They kind of do what they want to do. Sometimes it's interesting and sometimes it's not. Should I put a, put a marker down on those coordinates, T? 28 minus 58. Let's see if I can do that. Might be sitting on top of it. That's awful close. I think I'm going to go with that. I'm off just, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and then I can't hit it with my cast in there. And what I can do, I can cast past it. And bring it back. <laughs> yeah, let's cast past it. Yeah. Come on, Pike Slasher. He's outside barking now. Well, the, seriously, the one, the one I caught, the first I caught. It was 45 minutes of ding, 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 and then nothing for a couple minutes. Ding, 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 and then nothing, and ding. I mean, 45 real minutes. It took forever. Well, thank you, Benji. I don't know about love. <laughs> Are you talking about Twitch or, or YouTube? Oh come on, man! You gonna you gonna swell my head so big I can't hold it up? I like to fish and I like to help people. That's it. Benji Mallet said, "Switch been playing fishing planet myself recently." Okay. We'll have to get that new hat. <laughs> oh, it's adjustable. It's adjustable. And if you lived in the United States. 
Oh, come on, y'all. That's not right. I'm just a guy, just like I'm just a guy, just like you or you or the ladies are. You just someone likes to fish. Someone likes to play the game. That's it. I oh, I heard it. I heard it. This is him howling. Can you hear him howling? There's a siren going somewhere. He's oh, oh. <laughs> I love that dog. I really do. If a person can love a creature, I love that dog. Oops, I'm going to reduce my drag. Oh, too late. Dun -da -dun -da -dun. Now, see, I can't take a picture of it. Ain't that ugly? Ain't that ugly? Yes, I'd, I'd like to take a picture of it, but all I can do is screen capture. And when I screen capture, it's going to capture both both monitors. Okay. Okay, so where does it go? <laughs> As the lights flicker. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Do I have paint? I have to look. I don't know if I have paint. Nothing there. Control V. There we go. Got it. Thank you, buddy. Uh, file. Save as. Save it to pictures. How about that? Save it in screenshots. I don't know where it is in. There we go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Cool, dude. Okay, are you streaming now, T? We'll try this and see if it works. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, we lost four viewers right then. They they heard you say he's going live. <laughs> Let me know when you're live, and I'll hit the button. Oh, I want to. Oop! I put it. I spelled it wrong. That won't work, will it? There we go. It still says it's spelled wrong. But I know it ain't. Well, I got two more followers that I missed out on. Thank y'all. I appreciate you. I really do. That's the way we build a community, though. We help each other. That's what it's all about. And we're going to try to raid. This, we, we, neither one of us has tried yet, so we don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to raid T's stream with y'all, if you don't mind. And keep on fishing. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm headed for California. Well, thank you. Thank you, dude. All in, dude. 
all in, dude. Okay. Is your name, real name, James Holzhauer? <laughs> he's the guy that on Jeopardy, every time you say, all in. All in. <laughs> smiley face, smiley face. Okay, we got that one. That's pretty cool. 23 pound. Only one red dot. That's not too bad. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, cool. I like that. Got more. More money. More XP. Cool. Let me see if he's gone live yet. Yep, he be live. Okay, we're going to see what happens. Like I said, neither one of us have tried this yet. So, thank you all. Let me let me go ahead and, and if something messes up, let me. I like to end my streams this way. Remember, we will get through this together by the grace of God and only by His and through His grace. Learn a little bit, pass it on. That's the fisherman's way. And always remember, P P P P. Practice patience persistence will produce so god bless y'all god bless you and your family thank you for your time the most one of the most valuable things you have is time so thank you for spending it with me and with the rest of us here i appreciate it very very much so remember tomorrow uh, i'll stream between 10 and 12 and uh, have a around 11 30 we'll have a giveaway for a Trophy Hunter Pack DLC. Look it up. It's it's a it's a, look under premium and look under uh, fishing pack. It's it's a good DLC. It really is. It's got a boat in it. That's the best part of it. And the Casadora uh, rod and reel setup for with along with uh, seven days of premium and seven days pond pass for Bolivia. So you can go down there and catch one of big old red tail catfish and. Uh, gilded catfish unis be sure and take mole cricket larva that's the best bait i've found down there for the big catfish people like to use the big uh huge liver huge cut bait but i've caught more unis with that 16 dollar bait mole cricket larva and a seven odd hook so thank y'all we're going i'm going to keep on streaming uh and fishing but I, we're going to see if what happens when I raid T. So he's a good guy. He's very, very knowledgeable. Any questions you have, I guarantee you. You're welcome, Benji. Thank you for your time. But you can ask T. He's very, very knowledgeable. Thank you. Thank you, dude. For whatever's worth, he does every single day. And I just... I think it's wonderful. So, uh, like I say, I'm going to keep on streaming, but uh, I don't know what's going to happen if I try to raid him and keep on streaming. So, let's see what happens. So, if if y'all get lost, y'all come back now, you hear? I appreciate you very much, and I'll catch you later. It says it says it rated, so we'll have to see what happens. Let me go on on and said uh, Twitch dummy. There it is. Too many too many markers up there.
but I'm going back to California and do a little farming for the sturgeon. There's a 30 foot, a 25 foot, and a 16 foot method of doing this. And I have my own method. I use 20 feet. <laughs> Works for me. But I'll show you what I'm using. I'm using my, uh, I gotta change rooms anyhow. I'm using my uh, cat boxer, 9 foot 2, ambusher 9000. So we got a 57 pound rod, a 46.9 reel. I got 0, 0.009 braid, which is 46 pounds. A 7 ounce sinker, a 0 0.012 uh, titanium leader, 41 pounds. A seven odd hook and spawn sack. I got three rods made up the same way, and I use a three position rod stand. So let's go get in my little green boat. Oh, I know what I was going to do. There's going to be everybody and their brother down there fishing for sturgeon. <laughs> There's, there really is. There's like five people in this room, and four of them will be down there farming sturgeon. It is by far and above the fastest XP, fastest money for actual real, real lifetime in the game. Can't be beat. Now you can catch some huge catfish down in Bolivia, seventeen, eighteen thousand dollar fish, but as far as making money, this cannot be beat. For the amount of time that you fish. I don't slow down. I let my anchor do my job. Do my, I got a break. <laughs> and I like to set my rods up. Before I start fishing. Of course we're fishing. We're here at the morning. So I'll get, I'll get a couple. Let's see if we can go this way. See what it'll let me do. I can only do what the rod stand will let me do. Nope. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. And I like to aim at this power tower and a little bit to the left in, in this area here, but I'm going to be fishing right in here if I'm going to be fishing. Oh, they're already set at 20. Good. Cool. Let's see if we can catch one right now before I go to night. And at night I use a, the 9-11-1. I fish for 15 game minutes at 9-11-1 and 3. Whatever I catch is what I catch. It doesn't matter. It'll all, all work out. If I catch one, I catch one. If I catch two or three, every, every once in a while, four. Not too often, though. But with that 20 feet out, you're going to watch this. It's almost like an instant catch. And you can do this. Every once in a while, you're going to get one that's going to fight you. Oh, there's one of them right there. And you're going to come in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope, it's going to fight me. Yeah, I had, I had to wait too long to get the other one in to reel that one in so it's going to fight. It's okay, it's money. And these cat boxers aren't really huge. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Finn. Finn East. Okay. Almost evening for me. It's uh, almost well, it's after 3.30. It's late evening or late afternoon. 
be sure and join us tomorrow in my stream if you can uh, between 10 and 12 about 11 30 going to have a giveaway for the uh, Tropic Hunter Pack DLC for PC it's like a 30 35 dollar DLC is $34.99 in the store but it's a giveaway uh, about 11.30 I'll give the password where you can get in the drawing and uh, you just hit exclamation point and the word and you're in the drawing don't have to be there to win just gotta just gotta get in the drawing okay that's all it's gonna let me have so we'll We'll go on tonight now. And it's a good DLC. It really is. I like it enough that I bought it. No, I didn't. I told you a fib. I didn't buy that when I bought the Krampus pack. So I could make a bunch of money. Oh, no. Those honkers. They'll drive you crazy. I'll probably do a couple of rotations of this and then, then I'll be done for the evening. Or I'll go over on T's stream and I think he's fixing to do a competition at the Battle of Kanek in Alaska. Oh, I think that I... Oops. Sorry. Yes, I did. Here we go. There's my buddy. Hey, buddy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Yeah. You've been outside. You've been outside. Yeah. You've been outside. You ready for a... You ready for a... Root beer? There you go, buddy. My dog likes root beer. <laughs> okay.
Oh, you kidding. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> he left his calling card. See this slobber? That's my slobber dog. My love, I love you. My slobber dog. Get a light on, see what I'm doing here. What are you back for now? You want more? No. You want your nuts now, don't you? Okay, I'll give you some nuts. This is his his can of nuts. <laughs> oh. No, it's not either. That's my bag. <laughs> These are his nuts. He likes he likes pecans. And he likes almonds. There you go. Okay, fish, I'm ready. Come on. Like I say, if I get one, I get one. If I get two, I get two. If I get none, I get none. Then I just go on to the next 15, next hour. 9, 11, 1, and 3. And it'll all average out down the road. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Ah. Don't be cheating me like that. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Bite, fish, bite. Nope. 16. Ain't gonna give me. It's okay. It'll work out. Doodle -doo -doo -doo. Yep, that's okay. Oh, that's the end of my stream. That's my son coming home. Okay, God bless y'all. I'll catch. Please come and join my stream tomorrow between 10 and 12. The giveaway around 11:30. Uh, get you in the drawing for the uh, Tropic Hunter pack DLC for PC so come and join me then so thank you for your time have a good evening good afternoon uh, God bless you and your family and double talk 73 saying I'll catch you later so y'all come back now you hear